Hi, I'm Carol Hunter. I worship at Zion Lutheran Church. Whew, just been through a beautiful Easter season. Well, we're actually in the Easter season now. And I've been thinking about all the places where Jesus' disciples and other people saw Jesus after he rose from the dead. It started making me hungry. So I thought I'd just come down to the kitchen and fix a little bit of something. Do you know what I'm going to make? Starts out with two pieces of bread. What could it be? Scarlet and Solomon, do you have an idea? Muriel, what do you think I could make to eat with two pieces of bread? You got an idea, Jack or Will? Isaac, do you like to eat anything made with bread? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to add one more thing. This is my crazy butter crock. See my butter? Yeah. I'm going to put butter on the bread. What do you think it's going to be? Isaac, did you ever eat a butter sandwich? Just butter on bread? Oh man, it's good. A yeah, butter sandwich, that'd be great. Just delicious. See, I'm smearing that butter on there. I like a lot of butter. Tastes so yum. A butter sandwich. Hmm. No, that's not what I'm making. Not a butter sandwich. It's got butter on it. It's gonna be a sandwich. David, you got any ideas? Gideon, what do you think? I got another clue. I'm gonna add some cheese. Now watch carefully how I put this cheese on. See if you think I'm finished with my sandwich. Yummy, yummy, yummy cheese. Hmm. I'm flipping it over. Put a cheese there. And a cheese here. Think I'm done? Yeah. I could eat the sandwich like this. But did you notice I didn't put the cheese on the butter side? And now I'm going to put this bread butter side up. What am I going to do? Ta-da! I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Because I think they're delicious. And I'm really hungry. That kind of made me think about a time when Jesus, right after he died and rose again, appeared to the disciples, 11 of them. Well, I'm not sure how many. A bunch of them were all together. They were in a room getting ready to have supper. And they were still talking about the crucifixion and the empty tomb and what Mary and all the ladies said about the angels being there and and no body in the tomb. The tomb was empty. And they just kept on talking about all the things that happened around good, between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And they were getting ready to have dinner when another person appeared in the room. And that person said to them, peace be with you. It's just like we say in church. Peace be with you. And then we answer back, and also with you. This person who just appeared, didn't walk through the door, didn't come in the window, just appeared before the disciples as they were getting ready to eat. And he said, peace. Now that calmed the disciples down a little bit, but they still had a lot of questions. 
And Jesus said to them, you know, because that person who appeared to them really was Jesus, but they didn't recognize him. Just like you didn't know what my sandwich was going to be. You knew I was going to make a sandwich. You knew it was going to be good because it had butter and cheese, but you didn't know I was going to grill it because I didn't give you all the information. That's just what happened when Jesus appeared to the disciples. They didn't have all the information, but Jesus gave it to them. But first he said, peace be with you. And then he said, don't you remember? And he told all the Old Testament stories about the coming of the Lord and his death and his rising again. And he showed them the places where the nails had been pounded into his hand and where the spear had got. And then the disciples were so happy. They knew that Jesus had risen for them and all believers. They were filled with wonder and peace. We have that same wonder and peace. We know that Jesus rose for us. We know that we'll join Jesus and his heavenly father again. It's a wonderful story. It fills us with strength and wonder. It's something we have to tell others about, about the love of Jesus. Hmm. And all that happened just because a bunch of guys got together to have dinner in an ordinary place and an extraordinary time. That's what we live in now. An ordinary place, but extraordinary, filled with God's love. Let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we know you are risen. We thank you for the blessings you shared with us on Easter morning and continue to share with us in our everyday life. It doesn't matter if we're walking along a road or if we're gathered to eat with our friends. When we call your name, you Thank you for taking care of us today and every day. Amen. It's great to visit with you. See you soon.